I gracefully welcome you to the sports update here on Alena Khwana TV with me, Sandra Asante. I'm always bringing you the sports stories you need to know to spice your day. But before we go straight into action, I'll take a quick commercial break. I'll be back with the real excitement. Stay tuned. Yeah, welcome back from the break. Thank you so much for staying with me. So Pep Guardiola recommended Manchester City for losing only once in 12 matches over the course of a packed start of the 2020-2021 season. Gabriel Jesus cancelled out Mo Salah's early penalty to claim 1-1 draw against champions Liverpool in a compelling Etihadan Stadium encounter on Sunday. Kevin De Bruyne, on the other hand, dragged his own sport kick wide, meaning City had to be content with a share of the sports domestically for a third time this season, giving them a haul of 12 points from the possible 24. However, Guardiola seems keen to look at the bigger picture of a three wins out of the three quarterfinals of the EPL Cup and the solitary. He concluded that he is a lot happier, maybe more happier than ever after this game. To our next soccer story, it will be a dream come true to play for Ghana. Yes, the German-born defender Jamera has revealed his desire to represent the Black Stars at the international levels. The Hamburg right back insists it will be a dream country to play for the African side, despite representing Germany and under 2017 and the under 18 levels. He further explained, it will be a dream for me to play for Ghana. I was even excited about it, and I can still clearly remember Asamojan's first World Cup goal against Czech Republic. The 25-year-old disclosed even the back heels and the step overs of the Black Stars during the 2014 Brazil World Cup, ensuring the elimination doesn't even change his admiration and compassion for the Black Stars. Even he even stated that he said to his dad that he is really he really wants to play for Ghana one day. Yes, he's so excited about playing for the Black Stars. To our last soccer story, Sam Heung-min loves playing for Moreno. So the Tottenham Hotspurs winger Sam Heung-min is happy as he has ever been at the club. Sam Heung-min currently earns 110,000 euros a week. Spurs still hope to get him signed up to an improved contract soon with no real worry that they won't get a deal done because he's so happy at the club. He is claim, it is claimed that Tottenham hopes of getting Sands tied down to a new deal has been stalled after he switched his agent. Sands 20, 28 has now smashed 95 goals in 242 games for Spurs and has established himself as one of the top players in the Premier League and he as he enters his sixth season at the club. He was the favorite of Mauricio but now seems to be a loving life under Mourinho which points in the right direction of a new deal. We take a turn to tennis and Rafael Nadal laments after Paris Masters defeat Alexander Zverev. So Rafael Nadal was knocked out of the Paris Masters in the semi-finals by Alexander Zverev. Nadal left Paris confident that his game was in the right place to give him the best chance of winning in London this month. He stated he spent hours on court and of course wanted to win the tournament, but it's always difficult. But even though I had the right attitude during the whole event and I think fighting in every match. He further insisted that he is happy with his performance at the Paris Masters despite losing to Zverev and will not now turn his focus on the ATP finals. Now the 20-time Grand Slam champion has a week to prepare for the season ending ATP finals which have also been an unhappy ground for him. He only reached the final on two occasions, losing both in 2010 and 2013 to Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic respectively. We're still in tennis and the British physician and ex-WHO head of 
cancer program says six row is a ridiculous measure. He explained that being fit and healthy can help protect you against the virus. So why is the government making it so difficult for people to be that? He added by saying it is difficult to stay fit in winter at the best of times, but now we really should be making it as easy as possible to encourage but not banding people to get active. He concluded that all the talk of vaccines and drugs, we seem to have forgotten that keeping ourselves in good shape is the best way to protect ourselves from COVID-19. So he urged us all to reconsider this decision. This is where we end the sports edition of the update here on Alena Klana TV. My name is Sandra Asante. Thanks for watching.